Well, the trip was in the British Virgin Islands, and we spent our nights on a catamaran called the Riptide. It was really fun. We got to work with our 10 other crewmates. We went to 11 different sites to scuba. We did deep water scuba, and we went through caves, and our deepest depth was 90 feet. We go over lectures on the boat about what's this, what's that, what makes this one separate from that one. And then it's, it's such a gratifying experience, honestly, to go from classroom stuff to just scuba diving at 90 feet and pointing out to your buddy, oh, that's that, that's that, and it's mind-blowing. And I f honestly feel like I learned faster and more in depth than I could have in a classroom. We had done some reading prior to the trip, and a lot of what we were reading, we were reenacting these experiments. So it was really interesting to see it in the literature and then actually do it in the field. We did a class project which involved setting up herbivory assays, which were different types of seaweed or sponges connected to different weights, and we would put them down the bottom of the ocean and record them. And then later we would come by and pick up the quadrat and the camera and then review all the bites on film. Some students were taking Biology 453, and we got to pick our own projects. My particular project was a predation assay between two different kinds of sea urchins and doing another similar video assay of them and seeing what kind of fish are eating what. One of the uh, sea urchins is a smaller, it's got a red center with long black spines. They're called an echinometra. The other one was called a tripnustes, also known as the West Indian sea egg. It has a large black body with short white spines. My independent project was a coral recruitment, which is the larval form of coral settling down onto a substrate. And they're little itty bitty tiny things that you have to search for to get this close to the substrate and find them. And I found about 15 of them in a 40 meter transect and it dictates how the reef will be later on. So which ones are colonizing, I mean it'll affect the coral later on. So if it's a hard coral, it builds more coral. If it's a weedy one, your coral's just going to start decaying. My mom got me interested in it. She's always been in love with the ocean. She loves dolphins. And one year we went to SeaWorld, and after going there, I wanted to be a marine biologist. That was one of the factors that led me to College of Charleston. It's a beautiful city. It's a great program. This is where I should be.